we have two pounds of 80-20 hamburger meat. We're gonna make a meatloaf and smoke it. One half medium onion diced. Now we'll dice up one half bell pepper. Okay, we add the onion and bell pepper into a bowl along with a cup of diced tomatoes and one sleeve of salting crackers and two eggs, which is also known as cackle fruit. We add about a teaspoon of salt and one tablespoon of black pepper and about two tablespoons of brown sugar. Now we're just going to mix all of this together in this bowl. Get it all mixed around and really incorporated well together there. Once we get this all mixed up and incorporated well, we'll add it to the hamburger meat. And we get our hands into it and we mix this up really well, making sure every corner of this meatloaf has a little taste of goodness in it. And then we form us a loaf or something that resembles a meatloaf. Okay, I have one of my racks out of the smoker and I lay tin foil over it and I punch a lot of holes through it so that juice can drip through into the drip pan. And actually when I get out to the smoker, I punch a few larger holes in it to help distribute the smoke and the heat better. Okay, after about 30 minutes, we come back out to check it. It's looking pretty good. We're going to see what the temperature is here. And I believe it was around 117, 118 degrees at this point. Well, actually, I hadn't had this mixed up yet, and I thought, well, this might be a good time to mix this up so we can put that glaze on that meatloaf. Now, what we're using is head country apple habanero. Now, if you haven't ever had this, you're missing out. And to this, we add brown sugar. Now we put in about one tablespoon to this because that little spoon I'm using is a half tablespoon. Now there's one thing about all these ingredients, it will make it mighty larrapin. Which in modern terms means delicious. Now I believe it's time to go paint that meatloaf. Now we'll just slap this on there. Paint it up, get it all over this meatloaf really good. And it is gonna be delicious when this comes off of here. And once we get this all done, we're gonna let it sit in there for another 30 minutes or until we reach an internal temperature of 160 degrees. Man, I am fast with a paintbrush. Okay, we check the temperature and it's at 156. So we're gonna let it sit in there for about another 10, maybe 15 minutes and we'll check it again. Well, I believe she's a smoking good. And the temperature hanging really good around 345, 350, looking real good. Okay, we have reached an internal temperature of 165 degrees, a little bit more than I wanted, but that's fine. Well, this meatloaf turned out great. That smoke flavor in it, a smoke ring you can see. It was delicious. Hey, if you like the video, give me a thumbs up. And if you have not yet subscribed, hit that subscribe button and hit that bell for future notifications. Hey, you might be interested in one of those other videos there on the screen. If you are, click on it and I'll meet you there.